Governor, uh, going through the life-changing experience of raising children will change any man's perspective. What have you learned from being a father that's translated to your approach in office? Well, there have been two giant things that affected my life, uh, maybe three. One is my parents were killed in 1987 by a drunk driver, which forced me to search in many, many ways for who I am and, and my relationship to, uh, to the big guy up here and whether I wanted to have one or whether I even believed in it. That was a huge change. Then marrying Karen, you know, she's uh, strong and, you know, some, here's the way, some people have a marriage like this and some have one like this. This is the best way to have a marriage. So she's been just fantastic and such a great supporter and tells it like it is, but she's not really engaged that much in politics. She doesn't tell me a whole heck of a lot. With the girls, you know, I love, I love all of them so much. And that's where faith has to come in because, you know, they're now driving. And uh, it's, it's every, and, you know, Reese had a boyfriend, Emma has a boyfriend. Is that a boyfriend that you have? I don't know. Is he? Okay. Um, you know, at some point you have to let them go, right? You have to let them lead their own lives. And um, you have to have the faith that you did it the right way. But frankly, I have to tell you, my wife is far more important in terms of who they are and how they are than I am, but I like to think that, you know, as they get older, they're, they're going to realize that dad was a, a role model for, for the guy that at some point, way down the road, that they would marry. Um, but, you know, it's spending time with them, but it's also having the faith to let them lead their own lives and having the faith that whatever happens, we'll deal with it.